This is the Commonwealth Games the Women's Road Race. Not much happened, to be honest. Mainly the Australians uh, basically just controlled the race. They had a lot of favourites, Sarah Roy and uh, was one of the big favourites. But also Georgia Baker, who won a lot of races on the track. Uh, England had like Alice Barnes. There was like Tanya Campbell, who I thought would go better in this than maybe she should have done. But obviously not a great team for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and there were some other decent riders as well, to be fair, from Wales, um, like Eleanor King um, and Nea Evans for Scotland. Anyway, I think a lot of teams messed up. I think they didn't look at Australia enough. Like, England now have got all these people, like, keeping position. And it's like, I don't really get it. Like, the bunch is quite small. Um, it's a very big road, you know, is is two or three lanes wide. Why you got your riders on the front now, I, I don't think there's any point. I think you should really sit back, let Australia dominate and surprise them at the end because you know Australia's the strongest. They control the whole race. And I really don't think England played this well yet again. They had some strong riders. Alice Barnes on a day could have maybe won this race. But she's just left with no lead out. Like Anna Henderson as well, super strong. Like, she, But, you know, she's probably not going to be able to do too much um, early doors. But if you look at Australia, they've got a proper lead out. They've got like four or five riders here. Um, and they also have a sweeper actually on Georgia Baker's wheels. So they really did have it sort of locked down. Um, and you can see with like 3k to go, they're still looking really strong. And England are just burning riders. But burning riders, like there's two, like what there's, you can see here properly, there's like five of them all in, all over the road, like not together. It's just like, what is going on? Like you need to just, you know, now they've got back together, but I just don't think they needed to be as far forward. Like, look, the bunch isn't big. You can just move up at the end. Like there's just no need. Um, and I really think that cost them because the finish line was actually uphill and it was really important not to go too early because it was just a really, really long sprint. Uh, so I think in, in that sense, it, it wasn't the best ride um, that they did. And I think a lot of other teams probably did the same thing. I think, you know, if, unless you've got a really good lead out, you should you should just sit back and do what Canada would do where you see Canada. They're not on the front at all. They had two, three riders on the left hand side here and they're just surfing the Australian wheels and they know coming up to the finish they're going to be able to to move forward so again you can see more pressure on england trying to move up uh but it's wide roads there's no need to stress and australia really do have it uh under control scotland looking further back with well, nia evans um who is looking strong as well um and again she she's no you know just on her teammates wheel no need to stress and i think australia you know burning another rider here i think that's pretty chapman who's just finished her turn um and they've now got like only three or four riders left but 1.7k to go should be enough because they don't need to really drill it too fast. Wales, I'm not really sure they knew exactly who they were going for, to be honest. Um, I think it was probably a little bit like, um, you know, no necessary team leaders. Um, so in reality, it was going to be a tough one to beat Australia just because they did have the strongest riders by far in terms of like the most women's world tour riders. And they also ride a, a lot for the same team. You can see here, like there's a lot of bike exchange people. So it was... Yeah, it was as as always, you know, a lot of track riders as well. George Baker, for example, she's won a fair few medals on the track this week. So again, not not ideal um for in order to beat them if if you're not like a really, really strong sprinter. One point two kilometers left, four riders. This is look sorry, five riders, but four riders in front of that sprinter. This is looking very good for Australia. And look where England are. They're miles back. England on the right hand side, not good. But Canada now moving up on the right hand side. And this is what I'm talking about. One K to go, you've got two people in front of your sprint train. That's what you need. Um, and Australia now only have actually one rider ahead. But look at Alice Barnes in the middle. She's on. She's riding the canyon. She's hopping onto the Canadian train. She's doing well there. She's making sure, you know, on the wheel. The Namibian rider also is getting doing well. She, the Australian rider now moves up and actually creates a really good, creates really good space on the left-hand side for the rest of her teammates. Georgia Baker's second wheel now. Sarah Roy on her wheel. Looking really good. Uh, uh, Canada trying to lead out uh, for Coles Lister. And Hannah Barnes decides now. She looks up. She sees the finish line and thinks it's time to go. And it's just, I think, a little bit too early. We're going to go to the, the shot from the camera now. You can see it's 300 meters to go. And Hannah Barnes now actually launches it. And it's just too early. If you look at George Baker, she's still in the wheels now. Still on her teammates' wheels. And only starts to go at about 200 meters. And we'll see the overhead helicopter shot. But she dusts everyone on this string sprint to be honest. Nia Evans look on the right hand side. I think if she'd been on um, Georgia Baker's wheel, it would have been really close. But Nia Evans runs super, super close to Georgia Baker. And it's a really strong sprint from her. We're going to watch this again because I think it's pretty important to see like the difference of going early. Like if you go too early on this sprint, it was uphill and it was really hard to do. You could see the same thing happen with Fred Wright. He finished like fourth or fifth in the men's because he just went too early. So I think it's pretty important actually 
on this one to really leave your sprint as late as possible. Um, and Georgia Baker managed to do that because she had such a strong team, which was uh, which we'll see here. So you can see she's still getting let out. Hannah Barnes started sprinting now, and then Georgia Baker's in front of her, and then sprint later. And to be fair, Nia Evans on the left hand side, she's looking strong. Like she's coming up and up on George, on Georgia Baker. She had a better sprint probably, just worse lead out and worse positioning. Um, and Sarah Roy managed to get the third place ahead of the Namibian rider uh, Vera Lusa. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick video and I'll see you in the next one.